What's up guys, my main D here, back in video. We got a bunch of coins to show you, really cool coins. Actually, about 10 coins to show you, um, but they're nice, good quality stuff. So I have my microscope over here. First of all, I wanna say thank you for all your support. We have like 832 subscribers. So thank you again for that. Thank you for liking my videos um, and being just great viewers, I guess. Yeah, um, I recently uploaded a few YouTube shorts uh, with coins and you guys like that which is good. Um, stay tuned for some more uh, sh YouTube short content on coins. And then now we have a longer form content of coins. So, starting right off, the only non-silver coin, oh, the only copper coin today is right here. It's just this 1859 penny, really crusty, corroded. But these things are pretty hard to come by. This is pre-Civil War, um, really old. This was the first year of Indian head penny. The large cents stopped in the 1850s. Actually, I have my red book right here. Just give you some history lesson. So, the large cents, last large cent was made in 1857. And then, the flag eagle cent was only made for three different years. The first year is extremely expensive. It's only about 2,000 in existence, probably less than that. And then, the other two years are not that as expensive. Um, and then we go into the Indian head penny. And we have um, 1859 is a copper nickel laurel wreath obverse, and then variety two, that's variety one, variety two is a copper nickel oak wreath with shield, which was made from 1860 to 1864, and then 1864 to 1909, which is the majority of it is just the bronze. So this penny, pretty old. I'll show you the back of it too, a little bit odd back, um, on back to it. It's not the usual um, Indian head scent you're used to, but there it is. You see, it's just the it's the, the laurel wreath, not the oak wreath, it's the laurel wreath with um, no shield. As you can see, there's no shield in the middle. So pretty cool. This dude's got a vintage of 36.4 million, and this is the only one, um, all one type. It's a one year, one type thing. So pretty cool. 88% copper and 12% nickel. So it's got a little bit of nickel in it. And then the same thing, and then it, it was shifted to 95% copper, um, and then uh, you know, half a percent, or sorry, 5% tin and zinc. But they used to be made out of copper, which is pretty cool. It's slightly, slightly copper. It's not really that much. But that was a pretty cool old American, you know, Americana coin. Pretty cool. Next up, we have a silver dime. Now we're getting to the silver coins. Right here is a silver dime. Nothing crazy. It's just a 1950 San Francisco Silver dime, pretty crusty, but this was the last coin I needed, and now I have a complete Roosevelt dime book. Pretty cool. Is that a big gash right there? Not the best condition dime. I just needed it for my collection, and I finally have it. Really excited to pick that up. Next, I'm gonna pull up the red book in just a minute for some mintages. It's got some kind of cool lower minted coins. Starting off, we have a 1910 Philadelphia barber quarter. These are pretty pretty rare to find in the, you know, I mean, they're common in the junk bin, but they're pretty rare to find as the same price as everything else. Um, really thick, there's literally no detail whatsoever, so probably like AG3 or something, it's crazy low. 1910, and then the mint mark, pretty pretty interesting eagle too, it's a very small eagle, like a kind of a baby eagle compared to the other ones. Um, and the mint mark is right um, in between the E and the R, right above it, um, as you'll see in the next quarter. So this dude, this is from 1910, Philadelphia. So let's pull up the red book. Um, okay, quarters, quarter dollar, oh, too far. Quarters, okay. 1910, the mintage on that guy is, is only 2.24 million. So it's quite, a, it's not, it's, it's pretty rare, honestly, for, you know, usually you don't get coins that rare. Um, and next is a little bit better condition, probably a G4 maybe. Um, another barber quarter, except this one is a 1914. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty worn. But 1914D. And there's a mint mark right there. Bunch of scratches. Still really cool. And this is also rare. The 1914D comes out at it only three, three million, a little over three million. So it's quite rare. I mean, the earlier barbers actually get pretty rare. The um, every barber probably 
once you get into the well the mint marked ones are, are like 1901 s's only 70,000 of them but you do get the rarer dates I mean a lot of these were rarer that's why um, barber coinage is usually more expensive than um, regular than regular than you know walking liberty house and stuff just because of the fact that a lot of them are maybe you know under because one two three every like three four coins are over 10 million minted the other the rest are under 10 million but several in there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen four, fourteen of them 14 or under 1 million minted and you can easily find these anything so I would um, suggest brushing up on the good dates or you can always just look up online I don't remember it, all that stuff I just look this look it up online there's some great resources online and you can easily determine what's you know a rare date that you have all the barber coins just like the, all the barber coins just pretty rare pretty hard to come by next one half dollar you have a second year issue 1917. You just see it right there, very worn, um, and you got a little bit of graffiti. Actually, kind of the kind of like the pie symbol, pretty cool. Um, and if you do have one of these 1917s with a mint mark, uh, verse mint mark, um, it's pretty cool. But this is a reverse mint mark, and it is a reverse San Francisco mint mark. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, really scruff, scruffy looking. Eagle is completely like you see a little bit too hot. It because this is a 1917s reverse is only 5.5 million made. It's actually not as rare as the D. The D, uh, the Denver mint mark is this is about the same price. Oh wait, eh, it gets expensive later on. But I mean, I'm not buying. This is not like a thousand dollar coin. This is just to me, it's a little bit cooler, a little bit just slightly better in my opinion than a regular coin. Regular walking liberty half dollars, more warm, like I said. But it's a second year 1917, you know, World War One coinage. It's pretty cool. Uh, yes, and then next we have a peace dollar. A little bit of a rarer peace dollar too. Not the not the 28 or whatever, not the P8. But you know, nice peace dollar. Looks okay. It's probably very fine, extra fine, not that good. But it is a 1935. So let's pull the vintage on that. If it was a 35S, it is actually. This is a 35 Philadelphia. 35 S is actually less rare, interesting enough. But, you know, pretty cool eagle over there. Like I said, very fine extra fine. Nothing crazy in my opinion. But this is, I mean, the high relief is pretty rare. The 24 S is slightly better. 25 S slightly better. The 26 is slightly better. 27 is actually quite a, a better one, under 1 million minted. Same thing with the 27S, and the 28 is the key date, besides the 21. The 28 is a lot more money than the 21, I believe. Um, the 28S is a little bit rarer. 34s, basically anything after the 27 and after or so is a little bit cooler. So always look out for those. And this is, a, like I said, like a very fine, extra fine piece of and crazy. I didn't get it first finish. I got it because it was a little cool. I don't have the, this date. I don't know. It's, it's actually kind of easy to build a, um, a, a set because um, it's pretty easy to to build a piece dollar set because there's only a, a few entries in there. So it's pretty cool. Next, we have um, these are non-American coins up next. First of all, we have this cool one-ounce silver round. I got it. It's really cool. We got it over there. Really cool ship, and it says "Dead Men Tell." No tales. Pretty cool. It's actually um, Disney, Disney um, Pirates of the Caribbean. You hear that on that if you go to for those people who go to Disney. But really cool. Very nice skeleton pirate. He's got a, you get a parrot, a dead parrot that's smoking, and then he's got like a cannonball in his hand. That's actually really cool. It's like um, I can't. That's the dude right there. Is the dude from? I believe it's from Pirates of the Caribbean right there. Davy Jones, I believe. I can't remember. But I just think it's a really cool. I think this is actually probably based off Pirates of the Caribbean. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I think they were trying to get to it. Pretty cool pistol. I just thought it was a really cool. Oh, that's just okay. It's a, it's a cannonball, but it's, got, it's a bomb, really. It's still really cool. You got a sword. 
great detail on it, ship, and then you get the ship up there. You know, this is just this is just a one ounce silver round. This is nothing special, um, you know, price wise, but it's still great. One ounce, you know, four, uh, three nines. Another pirate, cool mustache. She's got the you know, the helm of the ship. Fine silver, of course. Yeah, it's always just really cool. I don't have too many of these mm, dual pistols. I don't have too many of these cannons. Too many of these nice. Um, one ounce silver, like really nice design ones. I got some silver. So I thought that was really cool, nice addition. Because I, the one ounce silver rounds I have are a little plain. I have a Morgan Dollar one and like two Buffaloes. But they're still cool. Next up is one ounce silver, except as a government issue. The last coin I needed in my Bullion Around the World series. You can see one ounce up, there you go. But I thought, yeah, 2023, three nights fine. Let's go for that. Um, and this is Mexico thing, and I don't mind her. Um, but kind of Lady Liberty figure, and just a really cool coin in general. Mexican coin, I do not have this one. This is the last one I needed. Pretty cool, that's the current coat of arms, and they kind of did an evolution of the coat of arms. I believe maybe that was the first one, and they kind of, I don't know if this is in chronological order, I don't think it is, but I have a few coins with that design, definitely. All the designs, I believe this is the 11th design. This is actually the front, I believe, technically. I think it went this way. So, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, sixth. These are common, the 40s. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. And then we have the 11th one, which is the current one, which is slightly different. Still really cool. Really cool coin went out silver. I was missing it. And now we have two more coins. Both graded. This is my, I believe, my third annex graded coin. It is an 1877 Carson City minted dime, AG3, so really bad condition, but I picked it up because it was cool. Let me get that focus. There we go. See, United States of America, really worn, no design at all. 1877. And we have the one dime. CC, guys. Carson City minted. This is only. Uh, Carson City was only in operation from 1870 to, I believe, 1891. So it was a really rare mint. That's why it's very sought after. So I'll pull up my book and figure out where that was, how many they were made. I mean, as you, it's not too crazy of a dime, not that rare. It's just a Carson City and a, probably one of the uh, easiest ways to get a Carson City, which is I like. So we have variety. This is variety four resumed. So it's 90% silver, 10% copper, it's 2.5 grams, because it used to be, I don't know how much it used to be, it used to be variety one, it used to be 2.7 grams, but less silver, 89.24 silver, and then, yeah, okay, so it used to be pretty big, and they made it smaller, 2.67 grams when they started, this Liberty Seated series, but then they changed it in 1853 to 55, the era is the date, which denotes that it's a smaller coin, less silver, because silver is getting too expensive at that time. And then we have Variety 3 is Errors of the Date, Variety 4 is a legend on obverse, which basically means... So the United States of America, instead of being back, is the front now. And then Variety 5 is the Errors at Date, they put another Errors at Date, it was increased to 2.5 grams, so 0.01 grams. Uh, okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. But, and then Variety 4 is resumed in 1875, they added a series. Let's pull up the 1877 CC, 7.7 .7 million made, and it's about 30 bucks in G4, but this is not G4. Um, yeah, so really cool. They only made it the CCs, um, they made the CCs in 78, which is quite rare. 77, which I have, not too rare. 76, not too rare. 75 cc, a little bit rare. 74 cc is extremely rare. 73 cc is also rare. And then that's when they started making it, I believe. Yeah. So pretty cool. That coin, nice history. You know, this is 100 and 150 years old. So pretty cool coin very good history and then the last coin guy my favorite coin ever because um yeah it's pretty cool as you'll see in a minute comes in this blue 
velvet bag that I got. Nice blue velvet bag. We're gonna do a reveal here. We're gonna do a reveal on the camera to make sure I have it the right side. Okay. So, so you guys see it. I've already seen this, of course, because I you know, have it. But and I'll show you under the microscope. Ooh. So we see a first strike. Let's look at the let's look at the date, 2022. And then you see the denomination, five hours, what? And then you see MS 70. Boom. One tenth ounce gold eagle, guys. Crazy that I was able to get this. Let's sh show you on our microscope. I am excited, guys. My favorite coin. PCGS graded. First strike. Nice gold lettering. PCGS MS 70 gold eagle, guys. 2022, $5. Look at that beauty. Wow, guys. I'm going to take a, a good minute to look at that. Such a great coin. Based on the St. Gaudens design from the, the 1900s. We have a you know, Lady Liberty. We have a torch. We have olive branch. You know, some branches. And then on the bottom, you know, in the back, we have the Capitol building area. I believe, you know, government buildings and stuff right over here. And then kind of in the background over here. Very nice coin, guys. They did a great design. And then you just see... Um, right there at St. Gaudens, uh, Augustus Gaudens is that his um, signature right there. So basically, they use the same design as the 1900, the $20 gold piece, and they shrunk it down um, for the $5 gold piece, the $10 gold piece, and then the $20. Oh, hold on, it's the 5, the 10, the 20. Uh, let's see. So, gold. <laughs> So Eagles ten dollars, no. Eagles twenty dollars. Saint Gaudens is made from nineteen oh seven to nineteen thirty three, except first few coins. But it starts getting more common in nineteen oh eight with the same design. And then the gold bullion. So we have the five dollar eagles, as you see right here, the one tenth ounce, which is ninety one point six ninety one point six seven percent gold. 3% silver and then 5.33% copper. Pure gold, 6.5 millimeters. It's not pure gold, sorry. Quite a bit of gold. And they had, let's see, so 2020, it doesn't tell me on here, it's kind of old, but the $10 is the quarter ounce. So if we go from what, 1 tenth ounce to 1 quarter ounce, it's $10, so double the face value. Uh, not double the gold, actually, not more like 4x the gold, I believe. No, not 4x. Yeah, 4x of gold. Right, yeah. And then we have the $25 half ounce, which is you know, half an ounce of silver. And then we have the $50 one ounce. Really cool. That's, of course, the face value. Not, of course, not all. It's, not worth, it's worth a lot. Wait, $50, but very cool, guys. I'm so lucky to get this coin. This is a great coin. Perfect coin. And it's a first strike. This is a quite, um, Kind of rare coin, but the back is very nice. Just as nice. They changed the design in 2021. Yeah, the Type 1 and Type 2 this is the Type 2 because it's a 2022. United States of America. E players whom in God we trust. Look at that eagle. Five dollars. Um, one tenth ounce fine gold, and it's got the JN signature and the with that FG. RD, sorry. And look at that eagle. It looks very majestic. I think it's very cool. Very cool coin. So happy to get that coin because it was honestly just so great. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video so far, especially this coin too. It's the last coin, so basically everything was silver here today except the, of course the first coin was copper and the last coin is gold. So first gold coin, honestly it's not that big. I mean, people have one ounce gold coins. This is a one ten thousand. This is honestly pales in comparison to the one ounce, but really cool and they all have the same design of course the only thing that changes is this on the bottom very nice this is 22 carats the american gold ball flow which is only made in one size the one ounce is pure gold 24 carat which is 99.99 now look at that front very nice these are uh, uh, far more affordable than the st Gaudens coins you could probably get this coin and the uh, one quarter ounce and a half ounce probably for less expensive than a um than a St. Gaudens coin. But the one ounce is 
think it's a little like that. Look at that MS-70 gold eagle. First strike with the cool American flag. And now uh, this the um the first strike means that um delivered within the first 30 days of initial release. And then if you want to look it up, that's what it means. So very cool. The first strikes are pretty um rare. You, you know, you can grade 2022s, um, the one ten gold equals, and then you can still get MS70, but you won't get the first strike. The first strike is the main thing. So very cool coin very small as you can um see it's about it's about the size of a dime i want to say let me see let me take this dime it's actually smaller than a dime i'll put that under the scope it is smaller than a dime because put the dime over it you can't even see through smaller than a dime so it's very very small i believe it's like a millimeter less in diameter so really cool. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially this amazing coin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more amazing videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.